Hello. This is Kev Agro. Have you ever heard of the Ambala Bridge? This is what we call the Ambala Bridge. Short horn with a lot of uh, short legs also. A lot of meat. This is called the Ambala Bridge. It's even it's it's even more expensive than the Bukolo as you are seeing it. The Ambala bridge is even more expensive than the Bukolo because from research it's it gives more meat than even the Bukolo. You know because the Bukolo is more of is more of um, of the the skin and it's also it converts feed to meat easily. So if you if you understand for the Ambala though the Ambala is very it's the the Niger government or yes the Niger government hardly allow it out they hardly allow it out of uh, their own country it's being restricted for 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 breeding you hardly see their females around hardly do you go to market and find their females so the ambala breed is for, for especially people who want to go into um butchery if you want to sell kilo in kilo in, in especially in west africa you can go for the ambala breed the ambala breed you can just imagine the neck imagine the thickness it has that thickness of the meat not just about fat this is not a fat a fatty cow is a meaty cow so the weight of the meat and the density of the bone is very low you can see it you can see it. the bones are not it has very low bone density but it has more fat than more meat density than than the bukolo breed so if you are going into butchery you better go for the ambala it's expensive but you get your money for your value small horns and short legs you know it's naturally shorter animals always have meat than even the taller ones this is kf agro the next step